guys, my name is Fred. But today I'm going to be talking about the top five things that you should never be apologized for. Did you ever do something correct or right, but feel like you are wrong and you need to say sorry? Well, if you feel like that, then there are the top five things that you never should apologize to somebody. Because if you do that, it would just make to lower your positive and increase your negative. You feel yourself as always wrong and uh, selfish. So let's talk about these top five things. First, being successful. Being successful, for example, one time, you got a brand, the brand prize for the debating contest. You got the first place. But there are some people around you that is jealous or are always arrogant. They will probably make you feel ashamed by what you are doing. Like, it's just the first prize of a debate championship not something really big to say about or they should say huh she's not good at all why does she deserve the ver the first place those people are just jealous of you not because they think you really is that bad and there's no reason for you to say I'm sorry for that there's no reason for you to do that. So if you're being successful, it's because you are good. And there's no reason to make somebody to feel better. Two, spending your money, especially spending it on your perfect wants and perfect needs. Did you ever feel bad for spending your money? You can think, Oh, I've spent too much. I should have returned them. Why did I buy so much? And there's a lot of things that you could say about yourself on spending your money. Even when you're spending your money on the biggest need or the most wanted things of yours. Spending your money, the money that you work hard. And it's your money, not the money money to be apologized of and also if you want to spend your money you can it doesn't matter okay it's your decision so you don't have to care next saying no you should never be sorry or be apologized because you are saying the word no you are correct and you're not selfish in that situation. If somebody asks you to, uh, can you please uh, help me to find a way to the nearest supermarket? And they ask you in a time where you're just uh, reading some book and chilling with the music, There's if you say no, then it should be something arrogant. But if that people ask for you something, can you give me your phone or can you lend me $100? If that is impossible or if that is ridiculous, if you say no, you're probably correct. And if you are correct in that situation, there's nothing to say no about. You don't need to care about them. You don't have the responsibility to take care of them and to roll them every day. You don't need to be responsible for others people want. You need to be responsible for yourself, not for others. So never feel bad if you're saying no in a correct situation. But if it is something that you can do and it is something easy to do, like just tell them the way to go to some place or help an old lady to carry some bags. It should never be bad to say no. 
always remember to choose what to do and what to undo. Next, ending a toxic relationship. Did you ever feel bad if you end a toxic relationship? Toxic relationships, I've talked about it a lot. Toxic relationship is the time where your friends or even your partner use you or they doesn't care about you. And toxic relationship just make both of you two to start to become worse. So if you're the person who end a toxic relationship, you should never be apologized for. Because did you ever think when that, when you said the word, maybe we should stop our relationship, then that person, what do they think about first? They wouldn't think about, why? Is that because I'm not good enough to you? Or is that because I did something wrong? No, the only thing that they care about, why? I'm not wrong. And why did you say that? You are being ridiculous today. If that people say that, probably it's a toxic relationship and you should never be sorry for because you're doing the right thing. So remember that for me, yeah? No matter if that relationship is just your friend or even to your partner, please try to end a toxic relationship if that helps both of you. Okay? Last, asking for help. Did you ever feel shy or feel wrong to ask for help? Usually, if you ask for help for somebody, then uh, you could be like, Oh, um, should I ask them for help? That could bother them a lot, and you stop asking them for help. Did you ever think that? If you have, then you're being like too careful to whatever you're doing. You are asking for help, and you're asking about the right thing to say. So, there's nothing to be scared of. But remember, if you're asking for something that's really unpolite or rude, then remember, that could help ruin your own self. And if that was a stranger, then their first impression would be ruined if that is something rude to ask. Remember it, okay? And also, never be apologized for the thing that you are doing correct, okay? If you're being correct, if you are in the good part, if you are deciding the best thing, then there's nothing to be sorry for. Remember that, okay? So uh, today we've talked about top five things that you should never be apologized for. Remember that and uh, have a good mood 